How you going? My name's Stuart from Club 250. Um, I want to talk a little bit today about regulator rectifiers and the charging circuit on bikes. So I'm not going to bore you with engineering detail as to how these things work and go through circuit diagrams and all that crap because I think the average Joe doesn't really care. He just wants to know that um, this particular rectifier is working the way that it should. This unit is an aftermarket unit. Um, it's a Sun unit made in Japan. Um, it's made for a 1991 FZR250 3LN bike. It's got four pins inside the plug, which you can see here. Um, the four pins inside here, the bottom right hand corner I've marked as the positive to the battery, while the other three pins are the three phases to the stator, while the earth for this is actually through the bolt to the main frame of the bike. All you really need to know about this is what it does. Um, it converts the AC current from the stator and converts it into DC current, which charges the battery. Now, if this unit doesn't work properly or it's, char or it's sending too much current to the battery, you you'll destroy your battery or the bike will eventually stop because it's not charging the battery and the bike will just drain the battery until it's completely flat. So it's a pretty pivotal unit to the electrical circuit on the bike. What I've got here is my multimeter, which I'm going to use for the offline test. Um, it's set to the diode function. You can see the little triangle here with a flat line in front of it. And what we're going to do is contest consistency, test consistency in the diode boards. There are two ways to do this, a reverse bias test and a normal bias test. What we're going to do is we'll start with the reverse bias because that's what gives us the, t the actual readings. The reverse bias, all that means is that we're getting the negative and we're putting it on the positive terminal to the item. So I'm going to put that in just like that and hold it in there. I'm just going to touch the other three phases very gently and we're going to see uh, that we get some consistency on the multimeter here. So it's touching the first one. Five one six five one five, which is good. Let's put that in a bit better. Touch the second one. Five one five, and the third one. Five one five. Look, pretty consistent. That's what we're looking for. Going to the normal bias test. We are not expecting any readings at all to appear in the multimeter now. Sometimes you might get some numbers flash up and then disappear, but we'll test it. Nothing. Nothing and nothing. That's pretty much the offline test. Um, what we can do now is we can test the the earthing circuit, the earth diode board. We'll just do a reverse bias here. We'll just chuck that on here just like that. We'll touch the three phases and we'll get some readings again. Look consistent again, so that's pretty good. And just because we've got this far, we'll just do the normal bias test. Just move the camera back a bit here. And get nothing. Get nothing. And nothing. So that's the only real offline test you can do for these units. Um, there's not much else to say uh, other than the fact that there is an online test that we need to do to check the voltage across the battery, which I'll talk about in another video. But uh, on the surface, this regulator rectifier looks like it should perform uh, as required. Hope that was helpful. Thanks very much for watching.